Hi. I've been running this portrait studio now for more than 15 years. And like most photographers, medium format film was my workhorse format when I started out. But it didn't take me long to figure out that the savings in film, processing, and especially time made the switch to digital a logical choice. By that time, though, I had invested a lot of money in a professional Mamiya 645 system. Mamiya's reputation for lenses is what first attracted me. Pretty soon, I had a good assortment of glass, backs, and accessories. Then Mamiya came out with their ZD digital back. Boy, I went for it like that. So now, I can use film or digital, depending on the job, with the same camera system and with the same quality. In the world of digital photography, bigger is better. Resolution and tonality increases, scenes look more three-dimensional, and prints or reproductions look better. Well, with the ZD Digital back, raw files are about 35 megs, and the dynamic range is 12 stops, giving our clients the best quality possible. And when I'm using film or digital, how the camera handles and responds is, to me, most important. The magnesium and aluminum alloys used in the 645 make it rugged and lightweight. And everything is where it should be, right under my fingertips. It's very ergonomically designed. I can change from aperture priority to shutter priority quickly and easily. I can also lock in exposures or set compensation with the push of a button. What I really like about the new AFD3 is how it handles autofocus. The new cordless motor is quieter and faster. And the algorithm has been improved so that with the low light assist beam, focusing is fast and accurate. Plus, you can choose one of three autofocus areas. It's totally awesome. Now, the hand grip may seem like a little improvement, but boy, does it make a huge difference in how the camera feels and handles. It's amazing how just a few small changes can turn into big improvements. And the heart of any camera system is the assortment of lenses you can choose from. Now, in the last year or so, Mamiya has come up with some really dynamite pieces of glass. And take the 28. It has aspherical elements for completely even sharpness and exposure corner to corner. It's incredible. My architectural clients love the results. Now, the other ones I've learned to depend on is the 80 and the 120. Now, I use the 80 for full length body shots and the 120 for head and shoulders portraits. These two have become the most used in my studio. Or the 152.8. Now, this is my location portrait lens. Focus is quick, background goes out of focus nicely, and the speed lets me work in low light. Digital cameras require special lens design to bend the light at the correct angle, and the Mamiya D series lenses have really proven themselves. I, and especially my clients, can really see the difference. Color balance, resolution, and contrast are the best. So, now I've got a really versatile kit, film or digital. Portraits, groups, landscapes, product shots, pretty much every assignment that comes along can be handled beautifully by the 645 AFD3 and Mamiya's new lenses and accessories. You can use digital backs like Leaf, Phase One, or those from other manufacturers. You can also use rechargeable or regular alkaline or lithium AA batteries. Fast handling, total control, and uncompromising quality. And that's why I chose the Mamiya 645 AFD3.